Adidas has sparked calls for a boycott after launching a new range of women's swimwear using what appears to be a biological man as the model. The swimsuit range is part of Adidas's Pride 2023 collection and is for the sale on the website in the women's section. But why are people choosing to boycott Adidas? Who has spoken out over the issue? Has anyone defended the action of this sportswear giant? Well, interestingly, this is not the first time that an ad advertisement created by Adidas has caused a stir. A year ago, a brand campaign which features dozens of sets of breasts and was intended to promote the diversity of its range of sports bra was called offensive by customers and subsequently banned by the Advertising Standards Agency. The company then found itself in the spotlight again in October after it became one of the brands to cut ties with Kanye West following his anti-Semitic comments at that time. The Pure's Yeezy collaboration was generating over 1 billion euros in sales annually. But the brand said it would not tolerate Ye's unacceptable, hateful and dangerous comments. So what exactly is the latest Adidas advertising campaign and why has it caused controversy? Well, Adidas has been slammed for using what appears to be a biological male model to show off new swimswear as part of their Pride 2023 collection. The bathing suits are flaunted by a model with a crotch bulge evident and chest hair peeking out from the top. Adidas's Pride line also features t-shirts, shorts and sportswear that say Love Wins, which are also worn by what appears to be male models. Customers are choosing to boycott Adidas after the company was accused of erasing women and is the largest target of conservative anger over woke marketing. The model showing off the swimwear has a hairy chest and a bulge in the crotch area. It's not stated where the model identifies as a man or as transgender. The swimsuit was created by South African designer Rich Naisai and released to honor Pride Month. Adidas have said the swimsuit is a celebration of self-expression, imagination and the over-wavering belief that love unites. A statement by Naisai featuring the tagline Let Love Be Your Legacy reads and I quote, This is the moment to call yourself worthy and help others to do the same. This is the hour to bond, to love and be loved by family and community. This is the day to love, unbridled, unfiltered, unashamed and never look back. Adidas's Pride line also features t-shirts, shorts and sportswear that say Love Wins, which are also worn by what appears to be male models. The latest controversy comes after the Bud Light saw sales drop in April 2023 following outrage over its partnership with transgender influencer Dalen Munwain. Now telling you about who has spoken out about the issue. A hashtag entitled Boycott Adidas has begun trending and high-profile athletes have hit out at the company. US swim star turned women's rights activist Rayleigh Gaines tweeted and I quote, Women's swimsuit aren't exercised with a bulge. I don't understand why companies are voluntarily doing this to themselves. They could have at least said this suit is unisex, but they didn't because it's about erasing women. United States Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene also hit out at Adidas asking, who is telling these major corporations to alienate women, half the population, in order to market to trans women who are less than 1%? Business are for profits, not for politics. It doesn't make sense. Who is telling them to do this? South Carolina Representative Nancy May said, and I quote, I'm old enough to remember when women actually modeled women's bathing suits, not men. Now telling you about has anyone defended Adidas yet? The vast majority of responses online have criticized the post, which has been seen more than 5 million times on Twitter. Many also joke that Adidas and Nike are battling it out for who can go broke first after the competitors became increasingly woke. In April, Nike used trans social media for Malvin to model their activewear. Well, to summarize the issue, Adidas has not commented on the response to this advert policy and National Word has contacted the brand directly for comment but has not received a response yet. Well, what do you think about the controversy? Do let us know in the comment section below. But before that, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to One India News.